Be a truth teller, even when it hurts. Aiken turned on his bed one more time. Sleep sped away from him, and he was too tired to chase it down. He had spent all of his strength on deception. Three feet under his bed, buried under the promised land, was consecrated silver. Just above that silver, still beneath holy ground, was God's gold, wrapped in a cursed garment, stitched by Babylonian fingers. Achan couldn't keep from sweating. He had picked these items up from the rubble of Jericho's walls. God warned all Israel not to touch the cursed things, but Achan couldn't resist. And now, though 36 of his brothers had just died at Ai because of the stolen goods beneath him, Achan still refused to cough up a confession. He turned again and stared at the inside of his tent. The next day, God exposed what Achan had buried beneath the earth, and by sunset, it was Achan who was buried, along with all that belonged to him. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 13 says, He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. But confessing sin isn't like floating down the river. It's more like marching upstream, waist deep, in midsummer, when the water is really moving. The fact is, you need courage to tell the truth. And you know, you have to be a truth teller, even when it hurts, be a truth teller. There is a great temptation to hide when we do wrong. This is just what our father Adam did. Genesis says, Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. Well, little good that did. God saw through the dirt that Achan packed over his stolen gold. God saw through the trees of the garden to Adam and Eve. And God sees through our silence when we don't want to come out with the honest truth. We're not really hiding anything from him. We do, however, remove ourselves from God's blessing and from fellowship with others when we don't come out with it. We isolate ourselves, and that's just not where you want to be. God placed you in a family, and one of the wisest men who ever lived said to listen closely to your father and mother's teaching, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 8. And that kind of listening includes speaking truthfully to them about what is going on in your life. Do this right away and regularly so that you don't end up in an Aiken-like situation. Several young people get themselves in a pickle by waiting to tell the truth. They know something is not right. Something happened at school that dad and mom should know about. Something is happening in their heart that dad and mom should know about. Something is out of sorts with a sibling, and the subject really should be brought up with parents. But they don't have the humility and courage to bring up the matter. There are a host of lies we tell ourselves. I will bring it up when it is a bigger problem. I'm just a private person. Dad and mom won't understand anyway or be of any help. The issue will go away if I just ignore it. Nope. No, it won't. Weeds grow in the garden. You either pluck them when they're small, or you spend all day Saturday, maybe a couple Saturdays, pulling up the deep-rooted tangles while everyone else is swimming at the pool. If you don't exercise the courage to speak the truth when your problem is small, what makes you think you will exercise greater courage when your problem has grown? Better to speak the truth right now and get on with living a blessed life before God. And the courage you need is available to you. It is found in Jesus Christ. Jesus told the truth at Calvary. He died on that cross of wood, testifying that God our Father is holy and our sin has to be paid for. And He has paid for it. So if you have fallen short, you know that you won't end up like Achan. Jesus died for you. He was buried for you. You won't be destroyed by telling the truth. You will become more courageous by doing so. So be a truth teller. Even when it hurts, be a truth teller.